Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV. We're here at the home of Liverpool FC at Anfield, along with a man himself, Paul from Red Men TV. And uh, we're here to talk about the game. Looking forward to the game on Wednesday. Um, the battle of the injuries. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're, I think we're definitely winning that battle at the moment, honestly. But yeah, no, looking forward to it, man. You know what? It's, it's, it's a massive game. It's yeah. always a massive game. But let's, let's talk about that first and foremost. Um, we, we've done many shows together on the Ball Street channel and I've been going on about injuries a lot of times, yeah. right? And you've always been giving me a lot of stick for going on about injuries. Yeah. But now that has hit you guys and it's hit you really hard. I mean, Massively, yeah. Ridiculous. how many players are that injured at the moment? There was, well, there was 13 before the weekend. I think it's down to like 11 now. Wow. Yeah, so we did, we did an injured player 11 and we, the, only thing, the only player we didn't have an injured position for was goalkeeper. But I chucked Bogdan in there anyway, because he's pretty much killed his career. So he might as well be injured. Uh, so, yeah, so no, one, one or two. One or two. I mean, but, and, and some important guys. I mean, Sturridge, written Sturridge will feature. I can't, you know what? Uh, Klopp's basically putting him through this mini pre season at the moment. I think he rushed him back a little bit. I think he accused him of, like, he said he needs to learn the difference between what's just pain and what's real pain. Mm. He came back, he was sensational against Southampton. Uh, we, we brought him off the bench against Newcastle in the game we lost. He picked up an injury again, and he's you know he's, he's been injured again. And I think it looks like Klopp's kind of said to him, "Look, you've got to complete X amount of training sessions over X amount of period of time, or you're not getting near that first team, son." Mm. And look, it's last chance saloon for him. He's got to get himself fit. He's a world class player when he is fit, or as close to world class mm. as I think we're likely to get at the minute. Um, will he feature? He could. He's not injured. Mm. But whether Klopp feels that he's completed enough training to, to put him back into the final line, I don't know. Well, I'm so. hoping he's not featuring because uh, he's a sort of a danger player. Coutinho? No, he'll be out. Yeah, he's done his hamstring. Um, he was excellent when you played us uh, on the Emirates. He was, he was very good. And he, mm. he, he is, on his day, of our, of our good players, he's our best player on the day. You know, he was integral to us beating Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, mm. scored important goals this season really badly and consistent but now he's, he's out the one player mm. so, so who, who are the danger players who are we going to have to watch with the players that will be available I don't know do you score a lot of own goals <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad come on you, no, no, you guys have turned over you've turned over Man City here you've turned no, over it, Chelsea here no, I know, uh, no, you know yeah, though, that's the difference but, but you know, you've it, turned them over so you, them you know over. No, we've got good players I think you know hopefully Jordan Henderson's fit you know he's he's integral to the to our midfield he's got so much energy so much dynamism and we miss him when he's not there up front Firmino comes and goes in the big games he's Man City he was sensational mm. uh, but he's not scored enough goals for, for us but he does he's, I think he's only scored one goal but he's got four assists uh, which is just a terrible return, really, for the money we pay for him. But I suspect he'll start. Ben Teke scored, I think he's got seven, seven for us this season. He's our mm. top goal scorer, but he doesn't fit our style. We play better with Firmino with Ben Teke, but Ben Teke scores more goals. Mm. Either of them's got the potential to cause problems, and I think both of them are fit, really, which means <laughs> they're <laughs> liable to figure. Mm. And uh, on our side, who are the players that you're looking at Arsenal and thinking, those are the players I fear the most? Yeah, it's what well, it's Ezel, isn't it? I, I, mm. You know, and I, I think. He had a good season last I said I've said in the past that he, he didn't have a great season last season and by his own high standards I don't think mm. he did. He's been sensational this year. He's a he's a, he's a goal assist machine, if mm. there is such a thing. He's invented that role. <laughs> he's actually um, even scored a couple of goals well, as well. Exactly. Yeah, he's no, he's, goals he's, as well. he's next level. He's yeah. next level stuff him. And you know, I think he's right up there. And I think this is the difference between you and us, is that when our best player when you know when Sturridge, Coutinho and Henderson are out, that's it for us. Whereas you've been able to cope, I think, a little bit be a little bit better with missing. Yeah. So, you know, on a normal day, if we had if we had no Sanchez and no Cazorla, that'd be us done. Ezel's carried the, the, the bat on really well. Giroud stepped up, you know, the guy scores mm. goals. And if Ramsey's fit and available, he's I love yeah, him. He he's, he's my he he's be. probably my favourite Arsenal player. Yeah, well listen, I'm looking forward to the game. I'm hoping that the weather's gonna be <laughs> no, a bit better than what it is at bring the you, moment. Bring your you know, you know, Wednesday, mate. Yeah, I think I will. I also wanted to ask you, I'm just looking over there, right? And you, yeah. you, Massive stand that they're putting up here at Anfield. Yeah, um, the main stand. That's, that's looking all right, actually. It's huge. It, it's a shame because you can't really see it. It's not properly lit up, but yeah. you'll see when you come when you come here on Wednesday. You're driving up. You yeah. can see the uh, the base of the stanchion that they built above it across the city. It's it's absolutely. So is, is that, that going to is that going to reduce the the capacity at the moment, or is that what's no? Still... At the minute, no. It's ever so slightly, I think. But from uh, it's due to be completed for the start of next season, so we'll yeah. see another like five thousand or so. Uh, which is going to be good. It's, it's yeah. going to be a phenomenal thing. When it's and one of the good things is that it's undercover. 
So yeah. hopefully we ain't going to get soaked like we are Absolutely, now. Absolutely, yeah. Listen, may the best team win on Wednesday. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. Believe it us. It's always a pleasure. I always remember, right, a couple of years ago when we played them, when they beat us 5-1 with him, with that pose, it's time for us to take revenge. Yeah. We're looking forward to the game. And uh, don't forget, you can check these guys out on the Redmen TV. Subscribe to them as well. Arsenal Fan TV here in the rain. Yes. Let's hope on Wednesday we inflict pain. A little bit better than my seat, I will admit. Now, you see, for me, this is, for me, one of the highlights of the tour. You see this? This is a gold Premier League trophy. You will not go to any other ground in the Premier League. Not Man United, not Chelsea, not City, not any of those grounds and CVs because this is unique to Arsenal.